All right, let's run. Charge! Hey there, Internet. So today, we're going to be testing out the Insta360 ONE X. It's the new camera from Insta360. Costs around $400, does 5.7K res. Everyone's saying it's the GoPro killer, but I am a little skeptical. This video is completely unbiased, by the way. GoPro has not paid me to make this. Insta360 has not paid me to make this. I bought both of these products. I love using both of them. Um, I am super curious to see how this camera does, how long it can actually shoot for. That's another thing to consider when you're buying this camera. It needs a super fast card because of the fact that it's sending data from both lenses to one card. This is something that I think is not a great concept. It's kind of like having a funnel and you're trying to fit things down the funnel. Um, micro SD cards were never, these, these cards were never designed for two lens cameras. They were designed for one lens camera. So I think it makes sense to have two cards for a camera like this that's shooting at 5.7K res. But again, it's $400. I'm not gonna argue with it. It's, it is what it is. 213 minutes available at 5.7K, 30 frames. Let's see our first shot. It's got a weird noise. I definitely am gonna turn that off. It's showing, it's recording. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. All right, might as well do the test where I put them both together. So, the first test with both cameras, the GoPro Fusion and the Insta360 ONE X. GoPro Fusion. Insta 361X. Look behind you, you will see San Francisco, downtown SF, you can see City Hall, you can see the uh, Salesforce building, uh, Transamerica building. Let me know which quality you like better, the GoPro Fusion or the Insta 361X. Which one is sharper? I can't tell because I can't see yet, but you can see. When you're watching this, you'll see. Let's do one where we hold it out like this. All right, so this is the first test shot with the GoPro Fusion and the Insta 361X. You can see here a kid just uh, threw a basketball down there. Um, all the way in the distance, you can see City Hall. You can see the Salesforce building, the Transamerica building. Here's kind of a low light level test. So it's not really super bright here. It's not really dark though. You can get an idea. We're walking down the stairs. How's, how's this thing holding up? It's an hour under the stairs. Which camera looks better? GoPro Fusion or the Insta3? Ah! Oh, damn. Didn't, didn't work. I'm gonna go for a run. You don't need to keep off, don't worry. Alright, let's do it really fast. What oh, if I hold them out like this? Alright, let's run. Charge! Alright, that was pretty fun. Um, let me know how those hold up, the GoPro Fusion and the Insta 361X. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out Greg online on Instagram. I'm going to link to it in the description below. And again, let us know which one you like better, the GoPro Fusion or the Insta 361X. I only got to do a couple shots today with this because this is Greg's camera. Um, I'm hoping to get mine soon in the mail. I don't know, my order is just canceled today, so we'll see. I want to find which camera I'm going to use every single day for both a professional use case and a practical case. I think it's going to be the Insta360 ONE X because it's smaller, it's easier to take around. 